I'm here at Josh Feldman's birthday party benefiting the Children's Hospital of LA at Racer's Edge in Burbank with Shayna Chapman and Michaela Chapman. I saw you guys last time at Taylor Hayes Star for a Night celebration, which was so fun because it's really unique. She brought 20, I think it was about 20 cancer survivors to her event, and they got to just experience a red carpet, experience mingling with a lot of Disney and Nickelodeon stars, and you know, even like Twilight, tons of people, and that was very fun. So, yes, and I have a question for you two. Okay. I want to know the biggest interview you got, which I think you know what I'm thinking of, and how the process was of getting it. Oh, Mika. <laughs> we interviewed Mika, who is a European singer from the UK, and he's awesome. And basically, um, we have tickets for two nights of his concert, so on the first night, we stayed in line for at least a couple of hours, and finally got in, and then after the concert, we stayed out there for maybe half an hour, got some signatures on some merchandise and asked him for an interview. He said he'll think about it, so we came back the next day, did the same process, but instead of waiting for just half an hour after the show, we waited till two in the morning. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was cray cray. <laughs> that, that's a long time. That is pure dedication right there. Yes. So he felt sorry for us and he said, okay, I'll do the interview. So we interviewed him and it played off really well. It was awesome. Yeah, I saw it. It, it was one of your best because I could tell you guys were so excited, but you still kept your cool. Yeah, but she's yeah. like, she's like, <laughs> <laughs> the entire time in my brain, I'm like, oh my god, I'm interviewing you. Oh my god, oh my god. Stay cool. Yeah. <laughs> Our yeah. mom's going to be so proud. <laughs> so what was your biggest interview that you've done? Um, okay. Of course, Betty White, I mean, as everyone knows. But the thing is, that's the number one question people ask me. And it totally depends on the audience. If it's like a 10-year-old or around that age, it's going to be someone from Disney Channel that I've interviewed. Like, I don't know, Jake Short. If it's a teeny bopper um, person, it would be like Christian Beatles or I Am Five. If it's someone who likes American Idol, it's Sanjaya Malakar. But overall, I would have to say Betty White. I mean, it, that was amazing. Like, that was a huge honor. Even though it was short, one minute and 26 seconds is pretty good for Betty White. She's like a legend. She is. If you if you two could interview her, what is the number one question you'd want to ask her? What was the first role you ever got? That's Yeah, because, I mean, she's been an actress for so long. I'd like to know the very first thing. Yeah, and how old was she when she started? Yes, for sure. I would actually like to ask her about her show, um, Betty White Off of Their Rockers. Oh, yes. Because yes. I think that's a funny show. I haven't seen it, but it looks funny. <laughs> It does. All her stuff is funny. The queen of comedy. Yeah. Well, if you could interview anybody you wanted, who would you interview? Okay. Okay, besides Justin Bieber, because I could go on for hours about that. <laughs> um, I'm really, I like all those pop people, but... You know, that's a really hard question. I would always love to interview someone really inspirational. This is really sad. I don't know if you've heard the story of Avalon. Justin Bieber kind of adopted her as Mrs. Bieber, so to speak. And she was six years old, yeah, and she had a very rare form of cancer called ATRT. So, you know, I really like interviews with people who aren't necessarily famous, but who have a story to tell. And so I think that would have been amazing. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I heard of that story. So it is sad, but you know, she's in heaven and she's got so much fundraising going on, so it's great. How's school going this year? You know, it's going pretty good. I'm a sophomore now and I'm getting good grades, you know. Math is hard. It's pre-calc right now and it's honors, but I'm handling it pretty well. How's school going for you two? It's awesome. I love my classes. Science is okay. We learn Science, astronomy. Yeah. Astronomy is it's very interesting stuff. <laughs> In writing class this year, we're, we're writing a story of any genre, so I'm writing a sci-fi story. That's always fun. I In seventh grade, we did our big writing stuff, and it was a lot of work. So that brings me to my next question. How do you balance? Because, you know, I only have to balance interviewing with, like, school. you got to balance interviewing and acting. Well, yeah, yeah it's kind of tough. Sometimes we have to skip school, but the teachers are really fine with it. They're yeah. really supportive. Yeah, it's really fun to be actors and interviewing people. We went to at two interview, uh, not two interviews, uh, two auditions on the same day. Oh like, my right gosh! Right back after back, it was you, crazy. You two are busy. Yeah. <laughs> 
We managed through it. Yeah. Yes. How do you deal with uh, just interviewing in school? Yeah. You know, it is so hard because I'm in high school and, you know, I try, I try to balance it just the best I can. I kind of have to pick and choose the events because I can't do them all. And another thing I've been starting to do, if I can't do an event, I'll kind of set up sit-down interviews, just like a few at a restaurant or something in Anaheim or Los Angeles. And I think it's, it's you know, it's a little more laid back, which is always nice, but the carpets are always fun too because, you know, you kind of get like excited nerves. It's almost like stage fright, but... Not quite, yeah. but it it is a challenge, but it's something I love doing because I'm sorry to all the sports fans out there, but I am not a big sports fan, and I think this is where I can kind of have fun. I see all the pictures of your three chihuahuas on Instagram. Uh, do, you, do you, like, dress them up or anything for uh, the holidays, like Christmas? Yes, on Christmas. Definitely. On Christmas, we go all out. We dress Topic up as Mrs. Claus and Aww. Blade as a Santa Claus and Jazz. He's, like, this Hanukkah Yamaka guy. He, he has we this key. Account. You can look them up as Topic Blade and Jazz or um, A Chi Times Three. Okay. So you can like their page, which is A Chi Times Three, and also, yeah. The number three. And Topic Blade Jazz is just a regular kind of, just a regular account. And then Topic has an Instagram. She's Topic Twenty Twelve. Yeah, and I follow her. Yeah. Yes. She's very. She's a. She's very interesting. She does lots of things. <sighs> what about your dog? We know you have a dog. What type of breed is it, and what is his name? My dog could not be more different from your three. He is a boxer mix. We think maybe boxer mastiff. He's about 80 pounds. He sleeps on my bed with me. His name's Bert. We got we adopted him from the shelter. Oh my gosh, almost three years ago. That's crazy. And he's he's really sweet. He's really shy though, like he's scared of men. We had some, um, my cousin and her husband come over yesterday and he would not go near him. And you can't look him in the eyes or he will run. But yeah, my dad picked him out. It took him three weeks to get reused to my dad. It was pretty funny though. Aww. <laughs> so cute. He's pretty cute. What's it like being in family with Sophia Linkletter? I love my cousin Sophia Linkletter. She is, I'm sure you all out there recognize the last name. Her um, great-grandfather is Art Linkletter. He's a legendary TV host, and he hosted Kids Say the Darndest Things and a ton of other things. And I like being in a family with her because we used to do theater together. She was in Alice in Wonderland. She was Alice, and I was one of the butterflies. <laughs> I wanted to be the cat so we could, like, bond completely but it was very fun and she's so sweet and she's been doing a lot of events recently she has a new movie coming out or she'll start filming next year it's called Sunny and it's a teen comedy and I've seen the script it is very funny and I think it has a little bit of everything that teens can relate to so that's so cool I want to know how did you two get started in the industry and also your projects Candyland and Baby oh, yeah. Geniuses 3 and Jody's Bra Okay, about Candyland, I play the girl, I play Kale, she's the alternative girl. She's like organic and eco-friendly. She likes to recycle. Yes, yeah. yo, she likes to recycle. <laughs> and she, she's got a bit of an attitude. Oh, well you said that's like you, you can have an attitude. Oh, Well, yeah, who can't? Can. And in Baby Geniuses 3, um, my character, her name is Gabby. I can't say much about it, but... I can say one thing, she and I are so alike. We both are such oh. divas. Oh, God. <laughs> Jody's Bra, it's a student short film, and it's been, I was, I play the character Renee. Mm -hmm. She's kind of this quirky, geeky girl who's kind of a mommy's girl. And <laughs> yeah, I saw the trailer. Funny. I really liked it. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh, been nominated for a BAFTA award. Wow! And it's won best overall sh student short film at the Ladies Filmmakers Festival. That is so cool. Yeah, I saw the trailer. It, the whole movie's out now, um, or the whole short actually, film. Actually, I think it's still going through a bunch of uh, okay. film festivals. But hopefully, it'll be out soon. Yeah, I'll have to look out for it. So, Sophia Linkletter influence on any of your interviews of others in her family background uh, or Art Linkletter? You know, I unfortunately only got to meet Art Linkletter once and it was so brief. But, you know, we're not directly related, but I feel like 
there is some sort of connection there because he was in this industry, he did millions of red carpets. He did a Power of Youth, which is the huge celebrity one where all the big stars go to. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's really big. And so I think that he definitely influenced me and Sophia too, because I used to be extremely shy, believe it or not. I would not, I would not talk to anyone outside my family. So I think that I was kind of inspired by her and that she did acting and I'm like, oh my gosh, I look up to her, I want to get into acting. And from there I just took off and as you can tell, I'm not very shy anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can totally tell. Thank you. So who's the who's more outgoing of you two? Me. And how would that show in the race? Who would win? I would win because I would Do you agree with that? No, I don't. She I should. I think that Shane would probably crash into a tree. Or if there That's was like not a tree, too, so she'd find the tree to crash yeah. into. There's not trees any there, but I'm pretty sure I'd find a tree. Yeah. I'm very good at crashing into stuff. It, it happens. Who's your celebrity crush? I knew you would ask that question, and I came prepared. You know, I could go on for a long time, but I think if I had to choose one person, it would be David Archuleta. He's from American Idol. He's amazing. His music is really good because it's not like talking about all that bad stuff like drugs and alcohol and stuff. It's really true, and I, you can tell, and he's on a mission right now. If I could, like, go on and, like, dream day with him, I think that would be really cool because he seems like a really laid-back person. So, what, what would happen in your dream date? Where would you go? What would you do? He has a music video for his hit song, Crush. I would, like, go to that, like, wherever he filmed because it's, like, on the beach and it's really pretty. I'd probably do something like that. Ooh. Yeah. I want to hear your celebrity crushes. Okay, I... It's hard to choose for me because I've left four already. <laughs> but That's if okay. I had to choose, I picked Taylor Lautner. Yes. Yes. You too? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kind of. Actually, she I, likes Robert I, Pattinson better. Oh, okay. That's, yeah. Uh, He's amazingly hot, but he I, Taylor Lautner, as he says in the Twilight movies, you know, I'm hotter than you. Yes, <laughs> yes, so yes, true. yes. <laughs> so, yeah, if I went on a dream day with him, first we go and we just like, hang out. We play like video games together and mm -hmm. just like walk together and we go to Disneyland and I make him go on all the scary rides and tell me what it's like because yeah, yeah. I've, always, I've always been too scared to go on them. And then we go to Ruby's Diner which I think is really Oh, good. I love that place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we go there and we have a good time. Then he dropped me off at my house and then I go on my balcony and it's a bye to him and he, and then he would come back and be like, <laughs> you totally have this planned out, don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he turned into a werewolf. Oh yes. Oh, he would turn would into cool. a werewolf and run away oh. into the sunset. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for your interview. Thank you, and I have to ask for your Twitter and YouTube links and Facebook okay. fan page. You just got one, yeah. On Facebook, it's Michaela Shana online. On mm -hmm. Twitter, it's at Michaela Shana. And on YouTube, you look up um, Michaela, Mickey, you just Michaela look up Shana. Michaela Shana. Then you can click on our channel and. All our videos will be there. Okay, awesome. And what about you? I have a Twitter. I'm on, you know, I'll respond to anyone. It's at on the spot Ava. So it's like on the spot interviews, but it's at on the spot Ava, which is EVA. I have a Facebook fan page. It's facebook.com forward slash on the spot interviews. And YouTube on the spot interviews. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, website on the spot dash interviews.com. And that's pretty much it. And then Instagram is at AvaKins1. That's more just for fun, though. Well, thank you for your interview, Ava. Yeah, and we hope to go racing with you. Woo! I know. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, both of you. And I love watching your interviews, and I can't wait to see where your acting takes you. Yeah, we, can't, and we can't wait to see where your interviewing takes you. Oh, thank yeah. you. And on, on your, your mark, mark, get set, set go! go!